Wow, I have just arrived at the Beijing 2008 Olympics venues and whereas some countries decide to knock theirs down and get rid of them after spending so much money building them, other countries decide to look after them, maintain them and turn them into other developments so that the people can use them. Let's go and take a look at the 2008 Beijing Olympics venues. So this behind me is the first venue that you come to when you visit the Beijing Olympics Park. And it's known as the Water Cube and it's very, very, very famous. These days it's used as the, the national swimming center in China. So it's still used to this day, despite being built before the 2008 Olympics. So we've just arrived past the entrance and I mean, it's late at night, it's cold, but there's still people, families, grandparents out here enjoying it. It's a nice vibe. There's lots of things to do. The whole area has loads of shops and little food stores and attractions and things for kids to see and do. So it's bringing in money to pay off for the, the construction costs. Compare this to the UK and our site is probably dilapidated and overgrown with weeds and, and brown grass and behind barbed wire. Well, half of it's been knocked down, so it just goes to show really, doesn't it? Right, we're gonna see if we can take a look inside the, the water cube and see if it's run down or whether it's been nicely maintained. What do you think? Wow, so this is the inside. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty cool. This is pretty awesome. To think that I'm literally in the same place that Michael Phelps won all those gold medals 16 years ago now. It's crazy. 16 years and it looks brand new in here. This could have been, this, this could have opened yesterday. And to think that before the games had even started, the usual suspects, you know who I'm talking about, the West, America, tried to ban tried to ban the games from even taking place here. Things like, oh, there'll be human rights violations, or China's bad, they support North Korea, or the environment will be really, really bad and the pollution will be awful, or they won't look after the, the stadiums once they've been built. Wow, look at it. I saw some pictures online the other day. There was the 2010 or 2011 Commonwealth Games and it was held in India, in Delhi. And they built India's third largest stadium to use in the games, predominantly for the games. Guess what's happened to that stadium now? Tell me, do you think India have looked after it, have repurposed it and are now using it, making use out of it? recouping back some of that investment? Or do you think it's lying to waste, to rot, covered in garbage and crap? Tell me, what do you think? Let's have a look at the pictures.
8 billion pounds. That was the cost of the London 2012 Olympics. That was the cost of holding the London 2012 Olympics. And that was four times over budget. They originally planned it to be two billion pounds or something like that. That's not even dollars, that's pounds. The Beijing 2008 Olympics, on the other hand, came in at a cost of two billion dollars. And they're still using the venues. You know, the London developers took one of the most dilapidated, one of the most depraved and deprived areas of London. It was really, really in need of development. They took that area and they chucked everyone out of it. They relocated the people out of their home. No, they didn't relocate them. They just chucked them out of their homes. They said, you can't live here anymore. We need it. We need the space. We need the land. And in return, they promised the people that they chucked out that they would regenerate the area. They would pay a substantial amount to provide low and middle income housing for the nurses and the key workers that lived in that area. They spent all of that money, they went over budget, they chucked everyone out of their homes, they didn't honour their promises and now they're knocking the place down. So that's a representation of the UK government for you. And the Indian government is just as worse. China, on the other hand, what did China do? Well, they under-promise something, they over-deliver it, it comes in under budget and on time. Which government would you rather have? To think that this whole Olympic park, this whole Olympic area is still in use and you know being cherished by people, so good to see. Chinese people really have take pride in what they build and the things that they have, whereas, you know, in the UK or India, they just either knock it down or cover it in rubbish and use it as a bin. So that's the absolutely incredible China Beijing 2008 Olympic Park. Still very much in use, still very much enjoyed by the people here. We can't unfortunately say the same about the Olympic Park in London or the Commonwealth Games Stadium in, in Delhi, in India, and many other stadiums in other countries around the world. If you enjoyed this video, please do not forget to subscribe like the video and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.